Morning. You look like you didn't get much beauty sleep. Shame too, because you need it. What's up? Something keeping you awake? For tonight, Terry. In advance. Hey. It's good the one being in the money for a change. You think you're so smart, don't you? Flashing around the cash that you made off my back. Well, I guess you made enough of it on your back. What is it? Touched a nerve? Look, if you two are going to kick off, uh, take it outside, will you? If only it was worth it, Terry. Surely you can do better than that. You better believe it. Because remember, I've always been cleverer than you, haven't I? So uh, you're giving it large now, but what's Debbie going to think when she realises a precious little daddy's sunk this low, eh? She's always going to believe me over a lying cow like you. <laughs> well, whatever makes you feel better, Kane. But you're not the only one that can play dirty. Prove it. You're mental. You always have been. Where are you off? I'm gonna go visit the old man, give him a prezi. Take more than that for you to get back in the good books. All right, well, watch me. You see Mum? Yeah, but I am... Well, she decides to come clean. Look, Debbie... You know what your mum's like? Yeah, well, this would all be sorted if she just stopped lying. Do you want me to have a word with her? No, no. You just keep out of it. It's a big enough mess as it is. I'm just sick of the lies. I'll tell you what. Why don't you meet me at the bus stop after school? I'll take you for a call, OK? Thanks. Oh, knocking would be good. Oh, I used to live here. You used past tense. So where's the birthday boy? Fortune. Not with dipstick. Oh, shut it, Kane. I'm not in the mood. All right, all right. <laughs> Just calm yourself. If you think you can bribe your way back in here, you can think again. Who said out about that? It's for our Debbie's upkeep. Teenage girls don't come cheap, even when the mothers are charity. Where'd you get it, then? I had a few jobs lined up when I went away. I thought you said you went away because you were upset about charity wedding Tom King. Aye. And I did a bit of graft. I'm not the sort to sit and pine. So? All right. We well, don't think this changes anything. There we go! Here she is! You're so embarrassing! Oh, well, you can't miss your grandpa's birthday, can you, love? No, happy birthday, you've got a good oh, day. You're just the best, Debbie, the mm. best. What kind of presents did you get? Thinking. Oh, well, you know what's in? About Norfolk. Oh, look at me, Dad. I was proper happy today. <laughs> Sam, look at me. <laughs> it's just. Lisa, she said I have to do what I think's right. And? My daddy... he needs me. I ain't got much time left, then, have we? Yeah, you know what Belle got to do? Some underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Same every year. <laughs> ah, well, look who it isn't. Get these in. Usual? Yeah. I'll bring them over. Cheers. What's all this in? My dad's birthday. Oh, well, thanks for inviting me. See which side you come down on then, Uncle Zach, Lisa. Hey, you know our position on this. We're on neither of your side till you get this sorted. But I'm not having either of you ruining my birthday. Debbie, can I have a word with you, love? Yeah. If you admit you're still in love with my dad and say he's telling the truth. Debbie, listen to me, right, and listen good. I will never lie to you, sweetheart, about anything. But him... Listen to her. You can tell when your mother's lying, can't you? Her lips move. Come on. God help me to get out of this one. I'll Double more on the rocks. So who's going first? Well, I'm much more desperate. No, I wouldn't count on it. Oh, serve the gentleman, Chaz. Bad day at the office. Oh, can't be easy, can it? What with all them changes going on? Sounds like nobody's safe at your place. It's none of your business. Backs to the wall, eh? Well, just you make sure you watch yours, eh? It's very clever. I could almost hear the theme tune to yours. I don't know what you're talking about. 
I wish I'd run straight when he pulled the short straw for babysitting Bell. <laughs> hey, it's Bell I feel sorry for. I'll be making tracks after this one. Mm. Hey, no, one more round. Look, I'll get this. Who do you think he is, Rockefeller? <laughs> In good time. This time tomorrow I'll be on my way. The girls will miss you. Especially Gladys. So you really took to you. Oh, I forgot to tell you, love. Emily rang. She's offered to take you to the station tomorrow. That'd be great. You haven't seen her driving yet. <laughs> well, let's be making tracks. Hey, don't be rushing off. I I've got a choice to make yet. To my wonderful family. Without who? I will be nothing. Oh, shut up and sit down. No, no, he's, he's right. You're, you're a, a wonderful family. Yeah. I want to thank you all for taking me in over Christmas. Oh, our pleasure, love. <laughs> There'll always be a place round our table. <laughs> you, you see us again? Maybe. Want me to bus stop? Please. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. You got me a present? Yeah, did you? Well, nothing. Too right, we're nothing compared with what we could have had. Eh? If you hadn't ruined Charity's chances of wedding Tom King. Meaning? Could have been in Clover. Or you can keep your fly zipped. <laughs> <laughs>